Hey guys, here we are, Jolly Good Nights 2024. Super excited to be here to check it out. I had a great time last year, so excited to see how they've grown upon what they've done. Everything. And, uh, just really psyched. Yeah, so tonight we're gonna check out all the new food, drinks, and entertainment. So grab your forks. And holiday spirit. And let's dig in. One thing I will say right off the bat, they are definitely very quick with bringing your food. This looks so amazing. This is great. This is a hamachi. Look at this. This is hamachi crudo. Go for it. Thank you. Look at this. I'm excited to try it. But first, I would love for you to try your drink, my dear, because that is the order of operations. <laughs> Yeah. How about so it? So this is an old-fashioned knob cream. It's got like a holiday vibe going. Well, it's pretty good. Very good classic old-fashioned. Nice uh, ice cube. Got the uh, orange garnish and the maraschino cherry. Thanks. Yes. Uh, over there is good. The beautiful, thank you. Wow. This is a beautiful gray goose martini with a little bit of pear and I think a lemon. I'm so excited to try this. Wow. It's interesting because that pear has like a spice to it. Really? It's a spiced pear. Oh, it's really good. Definitely cinnamony. There's no nose on it though. I didn't get any of the aromatics off of it. I was expecting that. But the flavor is like like Christmas just started. With this go. cocktail, Christmas just started. It is delicious. Here. So Barry, All you're right. gonna give it a whirl first. Yep. I'm gonna give it a whirl. Here we go. So it's gonna be chorizo with a little bit of risotto in here. Alright, let's see. So okay. Oh, wow. Wow, that is nice. It's kind of lightly fried. It, it looks fried, but it's very lightly fried. And uh, there's a lot of great flavor from the risotto. That is really good. And then the freshness of the greens come in and uh, add quite a bit of depth to it or just kind of different layers of flavor. So very good. That's a good dish. Okay, so I'm going to give this a try. The cook on it is perfect. The inside is super creamy, like really creamy. However, the outside has this perfect layer of just the highest level of crisp. It is not like a thick breading, it's a very light breading, and it is, it is perfectly cooked. So you get that beautiful crisp, and then the inside just this melt away creaminess. I think this is delicious, for sure. Okay, so we're gonna do the sliders next. This is really interesting to me. I'm really excited about that jam, and the onion jam and the gorgonzola. But I can already tell you just as a start, this is the softest, pillowiest little brioche bun. I love that they've done that as a slider. So I'm excited to try this. That bib lettuce too, you know, it's got that delicate, like, can I just also add the music is, it's just lovely. So last year we did sit out on the pat um, on the patio. You can check out that video. I'll link it below. It was great. You know, like it was a great experience to be out there. It was a rainy night though, so we were kind of hovering underneath of our umbrella. Totally different vibe than being inside with the pianist and all of this beauty that is inside the Brown Derby. But okay, so on this slider, a couple things. The bread is heavenly. It's got a nice toast on the bottom side, like on the cut sides of the bread, which is really, really lovely. You get that crisp little crunch going on. I like the thickness of the slider itself. It's good and thick, which is really nice. And, and as soon as you take a bite, you're like the breath, you get smoke, which I really like that. It's a little bit overcooked for my liking, but that being said, it's still really tender and delicious. It's just that it's 
If it was a little bit less cooked, I think that it would be better. The um, the jam and the gorgonzola, so the, the onion jam is, has a nice sweetness, the gorgonzola has that bite, and they kind of almost, they, they when they when they come together, they create their own little vibe, but I am getting a really nice harmonious flavor between the two, so I think that's really good. I think that that's a plus all the way. I was looking forward to a little bit of the gorgonzola, so I'm a little bummed about that. However, the fact that they have sort of blended together so well and kind of became their own thing, it's really cool and unexpected, which I'm all for. Any kind of bite I can take. All right, well, I tried that slider and uh, I was not impressed by it. I think this particular one, maybe they've got different cycles. I think it was very much overcooked to where all the flavors, all the different fats and whatnot have all cooked out and have fallen off on the grill somewhere else. Because you get a really big char burn, that's kind of the most dominant flavor in it. It's like uh, when you go over to, you know, your uncle's house and he leaves the burgers on the grill too long. It really overpowers some of the other flavors I was looking for, the gorgonzola, the onions. They could not come through over the uh, overwhelming flavor of that char. So this one, maybe not so much. I think good recipe for execution, possibly. Maybe there's better versions out there, but this one did not hit the mark. All right, so here we are, the sticky chicken wings with the sweet and spicy soy. I'm gonna give these a whirl. Looking forward to it, actually. These look really good. All right, I think it's very well executed. Very nice. plump and juicy wings. The sweetness and the tanginess of the sweet and sour soy. Um, it's a great combination and this little dip they have here, very good. So if you like wings, you're a fan of, they're not spicy at all. They're really good. I, I think this is a win. Nice. Okay, this one has my name all over it. First off, it's Hamachi. Second off, it's Crudo. Just this beautiful, look at it. But then it has capers, a Dijon avocado mousse, a caper aioli, and a citrus champagne vinaigrette. As far as I'm concerned, the only thing it's missing is like vodka. Wow. This was the first thing to come to the table. And as far as I'm concerned, and I, I bet you Manny's gonna say the same thing, this is the best thing that came to the table tonight. This is amazing. It has the, you know, you would think a Dijon mousse, Dijon avocado mousse, a, a, a caper aioli champagne, that it would overwhelm the fish, it doesn't. It actually just complements so beautifully using the fish as a foundation and kind of giving your taste buds a little bit of a roller coaster ride through it. I mean, to tell you what, I would order this every, I would order this every single time. Awesome. It's just absolutely lovely. Wow really really good i think overall brown derby has definitely made a huge improvement over last year's menu the drinks have been my drink was i mean <laughs> she's gone um, and i've really enjoyed the food it's really been great the slider's a bit of a miss otherwise everything's been a big hit I'm really excited about it It's important to note, we came here at the beginning of the night and the line went all the way out to like the entrance of um, Tower of Terror. Right now we showed up here at just before nine o'clock and this is all the line. There are two, by the way. This is a way shorter line. So definitely everyone hits here first because the excitement is, is oh my gosh, we want to be sure we get the Tip Top Club and look, I don't blame you because it's definitely a vibe and unique. Um, but I would recommend don't do it first thing because you're just gonna be spending way too much of your night waiting in line and this is perfect. Yeah, so there's a good tip for you. Just go ahead and wait a little bit later than the start of the night.
Now we are over here. We're very blue, but we have the 1939 Royales here. You do get this lovely little champagne flute. It is plastic, but it's really nice. It's actually quite adorable. But cheers to you all for a very happy holiday. Cheers to you. Cheers. Happy holidays. Have a great Ooh. That's nice. Yeah. That's really it's nice. Effervescent. It's, it's very effervescent. You definitely feel the champagne going on, and it's not too sweet. No, it's not. It's really nice. I don't pick it. I don't get uh, any tequila, but. Um, oh yeah, there's tequila in this. I yeah, forgot. Yeah, it's a tequila and. Uh, yeah. Like a, a orange liqueur as well. I definitely get the orange. Yeah, it's a, that's a sweet, but just a little sweet, not not super sweet. It's very good. It's reading like a little bit of like a harder mimosa. You know what I mean? Yeah. Like a mimosa with a little bit more punch to it. It's like an OG mimosa. <laughs> old school. Old school mimosa, baby. If you are an annual pass holder and you're wondering where is that booth that it says the snack cart, it's going to be right over here on the other side of the Brown Derby patio. Boom! Right at the corner of Sunset Boulevard. So this is going to be where you're going to be able to get that frozen espresso martini, annual pass holder exclusive, super fun. We're about to try it out, see what we think. Oh, they have the gingerbread bites here. We should and grab those. they have the gingerbread bites. <laughs> <laughs> they have really done this up with the chocolate. I mean, there's chocolate shavings like coating the entire top of this. These shavings are dark, bitter yes, chocolate. I and love that. Yum. I love dark chocolate. I mean, yum. Got it in my mouth, a little crunch to it, and then it just melts because they're so thin. Yeah. Mmm. Yo. It's very good. <laughs> I told you. Go get an annual pass. <laughs> Delicious. Just for this. No. Like, this is really good. And I told you. Yes, you I agree. That, you said, Manny said that it was um like a chocolate shake. Mm. I'm getting espresso martini frozen all over the place, not chocolate shake. Really? I taste the alcohol, but it does have that beautiful sweetness, but the like kind of like coffee breath to it that you would expect with an espresso martini. That dark, bitter chocolate is everything. And look, it's like Look at the stem. That's all chocolate going down there. I love this. So these are the little gingerbread bites. These are Ollie's treat. You can get these at this little same snack stand. And I know that, I believe you can also get them over with Gertie, where you can get the lovely cookie that we got last year. Love that little cookie, so cute. But these are like gingerbread bites. So think, I don't even know what, gingerbread cake? Ooh, they're kind of hard. Oh my god. They're a bit more... I wish they had more ginger. That being said, I love ginger. They're a little bit more dainty than a, a ginger, but the after bite is really nice. And I think they're tasty. And they were under five bucks for a whole bag of them. I think they're great. Otherwise though, go over there and get yourself that martini. So, I have to tell you guys, Epic Eats, you have to get that Korean chicken funnel cake. It's a spicy funnel cake, it's savory. We got it last year, and we have, amazing. we have literally talked about it a few times throughout the year. But this year they have this hot, so it's hot meaning temperature, it's a spiced chai cocktail. I want you guys to smell it because this, the scent oh, yeah. off of oh, this, that did it. That did it. it's like you're sitting on a couch with grandma's quilt on your lap, the tree is lit, the music is playing, 
everything you could ever want of holiday vibes are coming off the top of this scent wise. So, gonna give it a try here. Oh my god. I really right. wanna, I wanna know Good more one. about what this is because I wanna make this at home. Oh, these are cinnamon sticks in here, guys. Two cinnamon sticks. Honestly, I thought it was just gonna come in some like Disney cup. Like a cup. Look at the adorable little cup it comes in. I mean, come on. This is I this is great. Dark and snowy Dark from and hydraulics. Snowy. Right over here across the way directly from baseline tap room. And this thing here is the Santa Duffy Brownie. And let me just tell you, this thing is dense. It is so heavy. And it is huge. It is enormous. It is I mean if I eat this at the beginning of the night, I'd be done for the night. Yeah. Like I you mean, have to share this thing. Dense. It's a beast. So, Dark and Stormy here has a coconut cream topping with a little cinnamon with a um, frozen Jack and Coca-Cola. Yeah. Yes. Mm. Mm. All right. Well, that frozen froth, quite tasty. A little nice. bit salty. Ooh. Good. I just want to throw out there, last year, it was a struggle at Baseline Tap Room. Again, this is a sold out night. Wow. No line and many, many wow. wonderful open table spaces. Single. This is fantastic. Well, guys, if you don't have tickets yet and you're looking for a really great date night, if you're yeah. a food person, an entertainment person, you want a lovely evening where it's really just kind of de-stress and mellow, I love Jollywood nights, I gotta tell you. So what do you think of this? Um, I think it's 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 good. It's like you just can't, I think can it would not be get to it? I can't get to it yet. It's Let's like a strong. uh a good whiskey starter drink. I mean it's okay, not okay. It's very sweet. There's nothing wrong with that. It's maybe. very sweet, not super sweet. There you go. Alright, talk terrible. about sweet. Let's yeah, check out go. Mr. Duffy here. Right, First don't off, be shy. don't be shy. Be sure to get utensils because this is no joke, guys. I, I know. What are you? you can't eat that with your hands. It almost has a sour cream vibe going on. It does. Like there's a tang. I just got like a piece of fruit. Well, brownies grow on trees. What's in there? There's like I had a piece of fruit. And brownie berries. <laughs> brownie berries do not sound like something I want to be eating. This is for the folks who like more of a milk chocolate, sweet chocolate. Ah. What I like about it is I got something in there. I don't know if it meant to be in there, but I got something in there. It almost looks like an apple or something. And then I also got some actual chocolate chips. There's, there's some texture changes, which I appreciate. But for me, yo, this is like overkill. This one's going home to the kids, and they will They will love eat it. it up. They will love it. So, there you go. So, Bear got this beer margarita. So, what was in this? Do you remember off the top of your head? Well, it's just basically a margarita. It's got tequila, some uh, orange liqueur, my name, and then beer. So, they just, I mean, so the beer isn't the beer. base. The beer is like an added. Yeah. It's like a top. Oh, okay. Okay. So, let's see what she's got. All right. Just some okay. That's gonna be. How do I say something nice? I don't know. It's just not. This, this one's not for me. It's like not a good margarita. It's not a good beer. It like misses the mark on both. It, it, it's, uh, it's almost like a watered down margarita and a watered down beer all at once. But there you go. Yeah. So this year. Uh, it's a flop. So these are mac and cheese bites. Seen them all around, right? right kind I want to go thing. ahead and dip the sauce. Yeah, yeah. 
Let's see what we have. It's like a beer cheese sauce, I think, right? Oh. Let me see. Maybe we spoke right. too soon. I think this is good, well executed, but fried something. And what that something is, is mac and cheese. It's not very unique, it's just very fried. If you have kids that are pretty like vanilla, this isn't a kids event, though. you want. I don't think this. I don't think of this as a their... kids' night, so I don't. I get it, but I think there's more flavor in this. There's herbs and fresh herbs and such in there. But those are reading. I do like that it has a little spice to it. Overall, this has been God, just such a great night. Oh yeah, for loving sure. It, just loving it. So Manny had his heart set on these yucca fries. I got the new cauliflower taco and Manny grabbed, look at that consomme, it looks so good, and the birria taco. So we're gonna woof this down yeah. and head on over to watch the new ice skating show. A little bit of a dip in here. Dude, they give you a ton of consomme for that they do. one birria taco. Look at all that. So this is not new, it's returning. I mean, it's... It's kind of hitting the spot. Yep. It's, a, it's good. I, yeah. I, I enjoy it. So this is a cauliflower cauliflower taco. I love a cauliflower yeah, yeah. taco. Try this out. The cauliflower looks really good. There's a nice sauce in here and everything. It I'm smells insane. great. Hello. That's just tasty. I was worried the tortilla was like not gonna come away with a bite, and it was okay. I like the corn flavor going on. I really like the sauce. Yeah, I think this is good. Really does. No, that that's very good. It's very lemony. It's like definitely higher on the sweet side. A little bit of lemon. Like lemonade, like minute made Lem lemonade. Yeah, kind of like sweet. minute made. A little sweet for me. All right. It's like a lemon drop. Ah, it's like a frozen okay. lemon drop. It's good. It's sweet. I was a little bit like, oh no, when I saw them up on the. Um, I think I took some footage of it this when is I beef saw sandwich. them in the in the counter. That is bread bread on bread and a very small amount of beef. I think it's going to be good because we have this nice cup of very nice and warm au jus to dip it into and this bread's going to absorb it right away. But like, I'm not going to lie guys, like, we'll see, we'll see. Maybe the flavor's going to bring it, but just at least serve me what you gave me a picture of. That's all I'm saying. I think the au jus makes it, but it's yeah. really, it's not a good sandwich. Yeah. It's not a good sandwich. Yeah. It's not even as good as Wawa. No. I'm so sad. That was not. Wah, it really is wah, it. Wah, 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 wah. Now this on the other hand is the Napoleon. I'm not going to lie. This looks, that looks really good. It looks better. Lots of puff, flaky, flaky crust. Three layers as you would expect with a Napoleon. Mm -hmm. I'm excited to try this. I'm encouraged by the flakiness of this crust. Okay, listen to that. Can you Ooh, hear it? Wow, yes. I'm going in with this first one. Uh, no. This is terrible. I can kind of see where they're trying to go. This is like severely disappointing. There you yeah, go. No, it's so good. On to the next. Yes, we'll see you real soon. Merry Christmas, Scrooge.